<laughs> what up, y'all? Look at this. We got Chasing Cinema. What? What? We got Bottles and Boxes. We got James Shu. We got Ken Wong. He's turning the big 37 years old a couple days ago, and we're going to take an all out massive Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt, Seven, Gluttonous. Just it's gonna be wrong. We what you're gonna we see. Fit in this car now. I can't imagine. Some of you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, when you see what we're gonna do, you're gonna think we're disgusting. You're gonna wonder why would human beings do that to themselves? And let me tell you why. Because you can. Let's eat! It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Get ready. We're gonna be going to a lot of restaurants, we're gonna be doing a lot of things, so get ready. Yo, real quick too, Kent Wong. This uh Reynolds from Tracy Wong. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate, Tracy, appreciate the rental. Thank you so much. We ready. We ready, we're gonna get it right now. Get it. Great ark. They built an ark once for a man named Noah. They didn't build us an ark, but we're gonna eat so much we're gonna be able to fill an ark with our stomachs. All right, Chase, and we just finished over here at and waffles. What'd you think, bro? One through ten. Uh, to honest. Be, to be well, to be honest, a waffles never had my heart to begin with. I'd have to say a five out of ten here. Uh, I think the churro waffle was nice, a different consistency, not too cakey, uh, but the trees of Brisa burrito, I think you could get at any Mexican stand. And uh, the chicken waffles, eh, it's been done better in many other places. Dice, man. We just finished, bro. One through ten. Come on. Uh, Lonzo Ball eats there, so forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I know. You the Take birthday boy. What do you think, dog? Ball. You know, uh, I mean, everything's pretty forgettable as soon as you walk out of that door. It's pretty forgettable as soon as you walk in the door. Five out of ten, at best. At best. Where did we just go? And waffles. And waffles. We just being honest, guys. Woo! All right, here we go. We just got to s location number two. And they're closed. <laughs> and they're what? And they're closed. They are closed, but we're gonna try out these tacos. I just played Aaron bottles and boxes, obviously, for the first of three. Whoever gets the first three wins doesn't have to pay for the tacos. I lost. I lost 3 2. Aaron Dice, we just won the bet. Tacos were free on me. I just put it in the middle. Free tacos are already going to taste better, so let's eat. Mm. 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 What? <laughs> Alright, so we just finished this taco place. One thing that you didn't see is as soon as they put the plate down, they had a nice, really long hair for curly. Uh, curly. <laughs> a nice, curly, Extra uh, long. long hair. So that was interesting. Uh, Aaron said 5 out of 10. Chasing Cinema said 5 out of 10. But the waffle place now is 4 out of 10. So that went this, down. This was better than the waffle place. So at least it, we're making improvements. Yes, as long as we're going up and then Ken gave this 5 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 just because it was my bad. I don't enjoy that type of beans. But Mr. James Shu is saying that the next meal is arguably going to be a life changer, correct? For you, for you. Okay. Because you're the only one that's never been to it. Dice, okay. what do you, do you agree? <clears throat> yeah, let's see who pays.
Paris. Alright, we're here at Combi. Combi combination. We just finished up soup dumplings, your first experience chasing. Absolutely delicious. You could see the rain coming down. It's quite wild, but I'm excited for what we got in store at Conby here on, we're on Sunset Boulevard. Sunset. Sunset Boulevard. Sunset's where Pretty Woman was filmed, yo. Sunset Boulevard, Conby, get down there. We got a line, look at this, look at this. Look at these suckers just like us. All these people. They know egg sandwiches, Japanese style, let's go. Okay, now which restaurant, how many restaurants have we been to already? This is number four. We're in restaurant number four of this trip. Um, traditional Japanese egg sandwiches. Four in uh, five hours. We've been to four restaurants in five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and we would have probably gotten four in four hours, but we've had two weeks. <laughs> yes, and then this one we waited how long? Like 20, 30 minutes. About 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> it's no rainy outside. No, 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 no. Very excited about this. Uh, any anticipation? Um, I've never eaten in an establishment like this. I've never had like an egg salad presented this way, so hopefully it's really good. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's if try there's it. There's a line outside. It's usually a good sign. Yes, okay. it's a very good sign. What's the What's the YouTube right. trick? <laughs> First of all, you gotta look, you gotta appreciate that egg. Yeah, look at that. That's yolk. not an overcooked egg. That's, that's quality yolk. That's like maybe a six minute and forty five second uh, steam rather than a boil. Oh, so sorry. Oh, dang, like that? It's good. Yo, we got Dice Man. Y'all got a sandwich hell fast. We got Dice Man in the house. Got miso of soup here. Miso soup. Best. Best miso soup I've had in maybe like six years. Jesus. <laughs> like Japan? Easily, yeah. Yeah. Hi. My fiance told me to eat here. Approved. You really can't tell in this photo, it's horrible. <laughs> it took some skill to execute those eggs. For sure. Omelette has arrived. Chasing. Let's go. Just omelette and bread right there. <laughs> this guy, he smiled. <clears throat> you gotta get out on this. Get on it. All right, so we just finished over at the egg sandwich place. Chasing Cinema gave the egg sandwich place a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. That's solid. Ken Wan gave it a seven out of ten. Aaron bottles and boxes ain't in the car, but he gave it a seven out of ten or a no, nine out of ten, and I gave it an eight out of ten. No, he gave it eight. I think he gave it eight. We both gave it an eight. Eight, eight, eight o'clock. Eight, eight, eight. Eight o'clock. Eight, eight o'clock. Eight out of ten. Now we're off to our next destination. So what does that make the meal number five. Let's try this out. I'm excited. Sunny melon. Let's check it out. Huh? Oh, that's good. It's good. It's a winner. I think there's nothing wrong with this. I just don't think it's uh, something that I enjoy. Burn burn tea latte. That's pretty damn good. It's like having the taste is like having a boba without having boba in there. That's pretty good. It's got a little creme brulee effect on there. Pretty cool. I do like that.
What's up guys, so I'll go into more details in the segment after this one of what actually happened, but I realized that after I recorded this one, then I started editing this video and I realized, oh, you forgot another segment. So Korean barbecue overall, did everyone enjoy this place? Yes, they have almost 4,000 reviews at four and a half and it's amazing. But I think that one of our biggest problems between everyone is we're so, we're all from Vegas, so we're so spoiled with what great food is and the amazing, eating amazing food that we're kind of like food snobs almost and it's kind of hard to please us maybe, I don't know. All I can say is it was an amazing trip but some of the food wasn't good, some of the food was amazing. So yeah, then afterwards though, we went to get some ice cream and the reason why is because my fiance introduced us to a place that takes white rabbit candy, which is a famous Asian Chinese candy and they turn it into an ice cream. So we had to try that and all the guys loved it. Uh, I thought it was fine, it was good for what it was, but maybe that was also because I wasn't a huge thing of white rabbit either, so maybe that was it. But we got the white rabbit and um, I had to get two to goes also for my fiance, Ashley, who is the reason why we're able to go on this trip as effectively as we were, because she was the one that put together the whole itinerary of all the spots, so we're not jumping around town looking for places. She, was, she made that for us, so that was amazing. And then after that, then we went home, and then here's this segment to make it make sense. Bye! What's up, guys? So this isn't a proper ending to the video. As you guys know, we hit up so many restaurants. I was up for over 24 hours by the time we got back to Las Vegas from the time we left Las Vegas and we went on this food tour you just saw to the time we got back uh, I was so exhausted I was like screw it I ain't doing an outro so this is the outro you guys get and it was a lot of fun I love food my boys love food those are my brothers we had so much fun and hopefully you saw some good food that looked great to you guys also overall I think the soup dumplings over at Din Tai Fung Wong that everyone enjoyed the most so anyway I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Right now, um, I'm in this beautiful Bentley because we have this car shoot we're doing with all these exotic cars. We have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini Aventador. We have the Ferrari F12. Right now, I'm in this Bentley S SUV. We're doing a, a Range Rover. We're also going to be doing, um, I forgot. But we're doing a car shoot. It's a lot of fun, so we'll make that into a little sum sum. And then hopefully you guys enjoy what you see over there. And um, yeah, everyone be good. If you enjoyed the video, uh, push the like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.